At this point, I hope you've created a few brushes. On the other hand, I also hope you haven't created hundreds of brushes. So assuming you're somewhere in the middle, it's important to know how to organize these brushes so you'll get the best use out of them. And in this video, we're going to talk about the Brush Preset Manager. So you're familiar with the brush palette here, and you're probably also familiar with right-clicking and opening up your brush presets. To open the Preset Manager, look at the bottom of your brush palette, and there's a little icon that looks a bit like a newspaper. And this is going to manage all sorts of different presets. Brushes are one. You can also look at your patterns, your tool presets, and even things like gradients and styles, which I don't really use much, but if you use them, great. This is where it's all organized. So looking here at the brushes, you can see that I've got a bunch of them. And that means that when I right click, there's a lot to look at. Well, sometimes it's nice to have subcategories. But first, just as a safety measure, I'm going to select all with control A, and you can see there's dark boxes around all of them. And I'm going to say save set. And I'll call this all brushes. And I'll even put on 2012 at the end. Now what I've just done is made sure that I don't lose these brushes. Because now when I make the next group, it'll be smaller. So we'll say just the brushes I've made during this series. So I'll click and shift click just to select these seven brushes that I've been making during this series. So I'll save this subset as custom brush design series. Now when I save a preset, what I'm doing is creating a .abr file. And this is a file that's native to Photoshop and it's going to contain the brush presets as well as any texture files that you need to make those brushes work correctly. It's a self-contained bundle. So you can find this ABR file on your computer and give it to a friend. So now we'll pretend I'm back to working and instead of seeing all my brushes, I just want to see that small subset. So I'll click on this little button right here and I have various options. There's reset, load, save and replace. So what I want to do is actually replace. And this is why I made sure to save out a save copy first. So I'm going to replace all the brushes I have here with my subset called custom brush design series. And now you can see I have a small selection of brushes. So if you want to get rid of clutter in your interface, this is a great way. Maybe if you're inking comic books one day, you only need a few different brushes. Because odds are 90% of the brushes you have are not going to get used much. So a reasonable strategy might be to make subcategories like these, save them out as their own ABR brush libraries, and then only call them up occasionally, only when you need them. Alternately, you can replace these brushes with the All Brushes 2012 set and get them all back. So you've not lost them permanently. You should also know that there are different ways to preview these brushes. So personally, I like these small thumbnails, but you might not. So on the little arrow over here, you can change the way they're presented. A stroke thumbnail is a pretty cool way to see more of the brush. This looks just like it does in the brush palette. Now, if you've got a lot of brushes, obviously this is less useful because you have to be scrolling all the time. And this is why I default to the small thumbnail option. But you can change the way that this looks independently from the preset manager. Maybe you always want the preset manager to be displayed as stroke thumbnails to get a better sense of the way the brushes work. This is all total personal preference, so set it up one way and don't have to worry about it again. Now, everybody has their own way of managing brushes. And personally, my way is to keep the total number of presets I have pruned as low as possible. If I don't find myself using a brush very often, I'll delete it. This way, I don't need to make many subgroups because I don't have that many to begin with. But if you're the kind of artist that really likes having lots of tools at your disposal, you have a huge brush library, it might be really handy 
to design some sort of organizational system. And this would probably involve saving out brush libraries as .abr files. But however you handle it, just make sure you're not making painting harder for yourself by having so many brushes to choose from. And also, remember to save out an ABR file every six months or so, just because if your computer hard drive crashes, you're going to want to have them backed up.